Hey Sagittarius, this is going to be an ex reading, okay? This is to see if it's likely that your ex and you will reunite, all right? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it does, please hit the thumbs up button, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you guys want a personal reading, please um, visit the website at pinkarianjim.com. If you have an issue there, you're more than welcome to email me, okay? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with Sagittarius? you know, want the interaction or whether they would like to see the cars or both. Um, so, I didn't mention it to the other signs, but you guys let me know one way or the other. Or if you don't care, you know, I'm just interested to know. All right, guys. This is for the 13th through the 19th. Overall energy, ooh, justice card, making things right, balancing the scales of karma. That is what the justice card is here for. Oh yeah, after feeling regretful, lost over something with the three of swords there. Possibly an ear sign involved, okay? So what we have for you is a six of swords. Hmm been through something, leaving out of that, leaving that behind, no longer focusing on it. Yes. What they have is a Ten of Cups. Ooh. Huh. This is complete happiness. Tens are completion. Like it doesn't get any higher than this. It starts with the Ace. It ends with the Ten. Hmm. Like it. What you want is the love of your life. Hmm. You want somebody that completes you. Not like you're not complete right now. I guess I said that wrong. Um, matches you to a T. You want your life partner here. This is your life partner. This is healing. Like you know who you are. You know what you want. You know what you want out of life. You know who you want. What type of person that you want here. That strong Aquarius energy here. What they want is the devil. Now, nothing bad. I don't feel anything bad here. I feel like this is some strong attraction towards you. This is strong attraction towards you. This is also them wanting to put their guard down, I feel like, so that you guys together can have this Ten of Cups. And wanting you to put your guard down. It's almost obsessive thinking over the connection here laying under the Ten of Cups, what they want. It's like they're so focused on having this complete and utter, utter happiness with you. What you need is the magician. I feel you doing that, though. I do feel like, you know, you are at a point where, like I said, you know exactly what it is that you want. And I do believe that you are in a position to where you can manifest this, this newness, what you deserve into your life. Because when you learn, you know, not to accept things that don't vibrate on a certain level 
you know, that you're on or not on the same playing field, then you start bringing in things that do vibrate with you. Okay. What they need is a nine of wands. I feel like this person... I get the sense that they're waiting on you to make a move. They're looking for you to come back. But why? There's something, there's something off about this, um, about this energy. There's something real off about this energy. With this magician card being here, I feel like This is more so about the other person feeling I feel like you get a strong sense about this person. Like the like you have this love for them, but I don't I don't get the sense that you feel like they're good for you. You're almost, you're almost, I don't want to say scared of them, but you're leery of them. And as I say that, like, I, I'm getting chills. Um, you're leery of this person. And I feel like you, you should be, because if you feel like that, there's something, there's something very off here. Um, is there someone else involved? I don't think so. This is a single card. This is just you um, just getting your confidence back and um, you know standing your ground, feeling feeling sexy, feeling happy, um, and focusing on you. I feel like this person with the six of wands here. I don't feel like there's one person in particular. I feel like they lack attention. And I feel like they want attention from you. That I don't think, feel like you're giving. I feel like you know that you love this person, but it's like, this is very, this is, you know, sometimes depending on where the devil falls, it can mean several different things. But to me, with this right here, with the Ten of Cups and the devil, it's like very opposite. It's like you love them. You were in a relationship with them. Um, you guys, you were, you were happy. But at the same time, this devil energy kept popping up. And the Nine of Wands is sitting under. <coughs> Excuse me. The Nine of Wands is sitting under the double card and looking right at the magician. Like you're expecting this person to make an appearance. And you don't really know because I feel like they're your they're your um they they're your Achilles heel. And you don't really know how you're going to react if this person does come back because there's something there's something about this person that um, does not sit well with you. Okay, let's see. Is it likely? Um, this is a state of indecisiveness, not knowing what the hell to do. I feel like this person's trying to make, they're trying to make something happen with you and they, they are in the planning stages. They're in the planning stages here. 
you see we have the justice, as I said before, trying to make something right, feeling very regretful about something, broken hearted, involving this King of Swords. Gemini energy strong. Somebody wants to make it right, or they want, they want, you know, reconciliation and the fact that they want to start conversing with you again, engaging with you again, um, because they feel strongly attracted to you, very sexual towards you, I feel. Um, you're not sure about this person. You're not sure about them. It's something about this person that, that throws you off a little bit. Okay, so I don't see it happening in the, between the 13th and the 19th for sure. And I just feel like even if this person comes back that um, I don't know if you, you'll allow it to happen because I think once they actually do come back, it's going to, it's going to reveal a lot to you and you'll know, you'll know about this person, okay? All right, Saggies. So that is what I have for you guys for the 13th or the 19th. And um, I'll speak with you soon. Bye now.